Hey guys, Rio here, and welcome back to another hashtag daily tut daily tutorial here on TGOD Designs, as always. Uh, today's going to be kind of a quick one. Um, I'm going to be away for all spring break, so I'm just jam recording these tutorials. Um, but, 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 today is just going to be a quick one on opening up multiple versions of After Effects at once. So you can work on like two, three projects simultaneously, start a RAM preview on one, bop over to the other, start working on the other one while the RAM preview is generating, that sort of thing. Um, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but I can click on After Effects again, and it will open up a whole nother instance of After Effects. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to sit around here and wait for this. It might actually open up pretty fast if we're lucky. Um, but that's just a quick demo for you guys. Um, but this is really simple. It'll take like three or like this will probably be like a three minute tutorial. I've babbled already for a while. But um, so what you want to do is make sure that you uh, open or you have a shortcut for After Effects. So if you have it pinned, um, you guys can't see my taskbar actually, but if I zoom in enough, you guys might be able to. <laughs> It'll be kind of cut off, but <laughs> as you can see, I have After Effects down here and my start menu might be a little bit cut off, um, but you're gonna wanna find After Effects. And if you're on Windows 10, um, you're gonna, uh, if you right click the shortcut, it'll just have two options. Uh, unpin and the actual app, but you, if you hold shift down while you right click it, it'll actually bring up the um, the Windows uh, dialog menu. And when you get there, you can uh, go ahead and click on properties. And that's going to open up the properties panel for your shortcut. And you can't do this with the actual .exe, you have to make a shortcut of After Effects first. And then once you have uh, the properties dialog of your, oop, there's the second After Effects opening already. Um, let me go back to that that shortcut dialog. Um, so when that shortcut dialog box opens up, all you have to do to enable opening multiple versions of After Effects at once is go to your target, and after the quote ends for, for the path to your executable, um, you want to put a space. So you want to put a space and then dash M. Um, lowercase m. And then all you have to do is click apply, OK, and then the next time you click on that shortcut, instead of uh, just jumping, uh, pulling up your current um, open version of After Effects, it'll open up a new instance of it. As you can see here, um, I can open up multiple projects at once, so I'm going to open up the project I had um, for, for J that I uploaded yesterday. Um, which uh, feedback went over really well. Thank you guys so much. Um, I actually had a proxy for that, but um, I'll just open up like the main comp right here, and then I can go ahead and switch to my. Uh, so there you go. That's that's one, and then uh, I switch to my my clean copy of uh, After Effects, and I can start designing other stuff in this project and have it separate from. Uh, from this other project right here. And I can start a RAM preview on this one and pop over to the other one and uh, continue working like uh, like nothing's changed. Um, so that's how to open up multiple instances of After Effects. Really, really useful. Saves me a ton of time. Hopefully, guys, it saves, uh, saves you guys a bunch of time as well. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful or you learned something new from it, I would really appreciate you guys leaving a like on this video. Um, you guys have ab absolutely been killing the support on the daily tutorials so far. So it's great to see that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit subscribe to uh, get daily After Effects tutorials um, and other program tutorials. I'm planning to do some on Photoshop and Premiere and stuff, but mainly After Effects right now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, comment down what tutorials you'd like to see in the future down in the comment section below. Um, and I will get on it, add it to my list, all that good stuff. But that's pretty much that. Have a nice day, guys. Tomorrow I'll be uploading a tutorial on how to create a custom layout, like you can see here, where I have all my panels arranged in uh, this manner. And I can even, like, what what I do is I, like, pull up, like, Netflix or YouTube in this little bit down here while I... Okay, don't judge me. Um, but that's pretty much that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's more than enough rambling for me. But, uh, yeah, take it easy.